Hi guys, uh, welcome back to Guru Technical Networking Training. In this video, we are going to do our Advanced Enterprise Networking Project 13, which is a cure company network design and implementation. Okay, all right. So before we start, I plead with everyone who is joining me today. Remember, this is a very important video. It's going to be a very long video. The first thing that you do for me, a favor actually, please subscribe to this channel like this video and share. The same way we are putting much effort, we are spending a lot of time and hours recording these projects, editing them and delivering them into uh, a more effective way through which you can learn and gain some skills. Please, please ensure you hit on the subscribe button, just like the video and say something on the comment section. All right, okay. So without further ado, let's get into business. All right, so secure company network design and implementation. Actually guys, this is just an extension of one of the projects that we previously recorded and it was our project six. So if you're new here today, just know that we've been doing enterprise networking projects from project one. And today we're doing project 13 meaning we've done 12 projects that maybe you've not seen. Please, please, uh, I'll show you how to get the projects. Just go to uh, YouTube and search our, pro our, our channel, actually, Guru Technical Training. And the first thing that you do, ensure you subscribe. Please support us. After you subscribe, just go under playlists. After you've gone to playlist, and then... Um, if you go to playlist, uh, then you can just um, scroll till under playlist. You just scroll uh, till real world networking projects, okay? Or uh, this one, enterprise networking projects. So when you click on that playlist, actually, you're going to receive a lot of projects. You're going to see a lot of projects here, actually. You're going to see a lot of projects here that, uh, that you've recorded uh, all along, right? Okay. So you can start from the project one, watch till the 12th project, because this project actually were a design in a way that um, the, the complexity of the protocols or the knowledge uh, uh, being executed increases as the number of projects increases. So uh, the, complica the complexity of project one is uh, different with the complexity of project two. And the same way, Complexity of project 13 is, is different uh, from projects, uh, the complexity of project 12. This shows that a new version of project is a little bit uh, advanced than the previous one, okay? All right. So I wish you all the best, and I believe that you're going to gain a lot regarding the enterprise network design and implementation. Also, a number of uh, students or viewers all normally require uh, the packet tracer files. Maybe the one that I'm recording today. So to get the packet tracer file, actually, it's very simple because um, uh, you just need to join the channel membership. Well, we record the video for free because in the in, uh, in the entire YouTube, it's only Google Tech Dragon Training that records. Uh, uh, projects from scratch so we we also require further support please just to join the channel membership it's uh, it's not that much uh, uh, to pay for actually see the amount 1.49 dollars yeah but uh, the knowledge you get is much higher than that right okay all right so if you want to get the pocket tracer file of any project just join the channel membership and uh, before you join the channel membership, watch this video, right? Okay, all right. So uh, let's go back to our packet as a file. Let's go, let me just go back to our channel and show you something, yeah. Yeah, so uh, in the group tech networking training, there's a channel, there's a video by the name, uh, the first video here, company network design and implementation. So this is the video that we are actually going to expand and make it look more professional, okay? All right, so it was recorded one year ago, actually, and it has uh, 130 views, okay? 
All right. So uh, I'll just um, minimize this and uh, open this um, uh, for, uh, picture here. Yeah. So uh, this is the project that we're going to modify and make it look uh, advanced, actually. So in this project, in this project, as you can see, we had um, uh, two ISPs, okay? Then the ISP connects to the routers. So these were the, mod the first modifications. Uh, the first modification will actually come in. Instead of the routers, we're going to use firewalls, okay? Yeah. Then the multi-layer switch will stay the way they are. The access layer switches will stay the way they, the way they are. Then when we come to access points, the wireless access points here, we are going to use wireless LAN controller. And this access point we are, we are going to be a lightweight access point managed by the wireless LAN controller. And we are also going to add IP phones in this setup. All right? And in this setup, we're going to have, uh, because we have a firewall, we're going to have the zones. The DMC zone connected to the firewall where the servers we are going to be located. The inside zone where the users are, and uh, the outside zones where the clients are. All right? It's going to be a very uh, advanced project. Okay? So I just ask for your patient because um, these types of videos normally take uh, a lot of time, maybe three hours. Okay? But it's worth it. Just dedicate your time, watch the video to the fullest, and you'll learn a lot. Yeah. All right. So I'll just minimize this and open the case study. Secure company network design and implementation. So uh, in the recent time, the recent time actually, I've been recording the uh, projects uh, to appreciate uh, the countries that uh, oh, that watch me the most. Yeah, so I'm mostly watching India, then the USA, then currently it's my country, Kenya. So today I'm home, actually. Today I'm going to uh, acknowledge my country, Kenya. Yeah, yeah, I'm going to record a, a, a project to appreciate my country, men and women, for their support, yeah. So, Advanced Enterprise Networking Project 13. Design and implementation of a secure company network system. Saturn Innovation Limited is a dynamic and forward thinking company specializing in providing innovative cloud solutions to clients worldwide. Leveraging cutting edge technology and a team of highly skilled professionals, Saturn Innovation focuses on developing and implementing cloud based solutions tailored to meet the evolving needs of businesses across various industries. With a strong emphasis on creativity, agility, and customer centricity, certain innovation aims to empower organizations to enhance their operational efficiency, scalability, and competitiveness in today's digital landscape. With a workshop, with a workforce of 600 staff, Saturn Innovation Limited recently expanded and is preparing to move to a new building. The new building, comprising three floors, will house various departments, including sales and marketing, uh, human resources and logistics, finance and accounts, administrators and public relations, ICT and a server. The ICT department further hosts software developers, cloud engineers, subscript engineers, network engineers, system administrators, IT support specialists, business analysts, and project managers. Prior to the move, a new network service needs to be designed and implemented in the new building. To ensure robust security, Saturn will implement several security measures to protect the network from internal and external attacks. The file will, will have outside, inside, and the DMZ security zones. The essential servers strategically hosted within the fortified zone. Additionally, Active Directory Storage Server 
responsible for managing um, and authenticating users, computers, and resources within the internal network will be placed on the inside zone of the firewall. This implies that the server such as DSCP, DNS, Radius will all be on the inside zone, while the while other servers such as FTP, web, email, app, and NAS storage will be located in the DMZ. The zone can be attached to any firewall as of now. This meticulous planning and deployment of security measures will, will safeguard the network and ensure smooth operation for certain innovation lab, uh, I mean, certain innovation li limited in its new building. Yeah. So as an integral part of a city infrastructure, the following components have been incorporated. Internet service provider, um, the company, actually that, that should be the company. The company has established a subscription to, with the two ISPs, Seacom and Safaricom, to ensure redundant internet connectivity. Network security, two, uh, as a firewall, Cisco as a firewall uh, have been deployed to uh, enhance network security and redundancy. Network routing, both the firewall and the core switches will be used instead of the router. Network switching, the network include the network includes uh, two catalysts, Cisco, I mean two catalysts, 3850, uh, 48 port switches, and a catalyst this one. 48 port switches to ensure robust local and local connectivity, server hardware and virtualization. Two physical servers will be uh, utilized for virtualization through hypervisor to achieve multiple virtual machines for various services. Wireless infrastructure. A Cisco wireless LAN controller and various lightweight access points will centralize the management of wireless network. VoIP. A Cisco voice gateway will be used to enable telephone service in the network. Cloud computing as an important technology is used to connect clients across the world to the company services and resources. Thus, the proposed network should, should allow the team to access the resources. All right. Therefore, as a key member of network team, you've been tasked to design a network for the new building. At this stage, the local design is required, which shows the measures that you would put in place to ensure that the new network meets the current business needs and is future proofed. Good. So let's go to requirement. Let's go to the requirement now. Yeah. So the requirements. The company places a strong emphasis on the achieving top tier performance, relevancy, scalability and availability within its network infrastructure. As such, your task involves creating a comprehensive network design and executing its implementation. To facilitate this endeavor, the company has designed uh, spe as designated specific IP address ranges. Yeah. So you're going to have a management network, having that one. You're going to have a WLAN, having that one. We're going to have a LAN, that one, VoIP, that one, DMZ, that one, public IP addresses, uh, yeah, that one. So uh, let's go to technical requirements now. Technical requirements. Utilize Cisco Packet Tracer as a design tool. Let's embrace hierarchical network design. ISP, we're going to have uh, two ISP, yeah. Then we're going to have a wireless LAN controller manage uh, the lightweight access points okay we're going to have uh, how many villains we're going to have uh, four villain 10 for management 20 for LAN, 50 for VLAN, uh, 70 for VoIP and 199 for black hole in which all your new spots are placed then we go to either channel you're going to aggregate uh, links to form one logical uh, channel Telephony service, so we're going to configure a uh, VoIP on the voice gateway and locate dial numbers in the format of 4 dot dot STP port first and BP Yuga. We're going to use this one to, uh, to fasten or to expedite port transition 
from blocking to forwarding states. Subnetting. Subnetting is very important. We're going to do subnetting actually to allocate appropriate IP addresses to the uh, to each group. Yeah. A basic configuration, very important. We're going to do all this basic configuration. In the VLAN routing is very important. We're going to do it in VLAN routing to enable VLANs to communicate. Then the code switch, the code switch, you know, uh, we, we don't have a router. So the code switch will be used for switching and routing. So we need to assign it IP address, okay? Uh, so the GCP server will be used to allocate uh, dynamic IP address to the hosts, to our computers in the network. All right, HSRP, very important. HSRP, you know, it's a high availability router protocol, okay? All right, so uh, that's going to be implemented. Static IP addressing, you're going to do static IP addressing to the servers, okay? Routing protocol, well, we normally use OSPF as our routing protocol because OSPF is one of the standard uh, um, and the best routing protocol, dynamic routing protocol, okay? All right, so we can't, I don't want to use EIGRP because, you, you know, EIGRP is normally a Cisco proprietary. I don't want to use RIP because uh, uh, OSPF is a way much better than RIP, okay? All right, and uh, maybe BGP will use BGP in the next projects when you're going to do ISP networks, okay? All right, but as per now, you're going to use OSPF. Standard SCL for SSH. Remember, we, we have management network. So uh, to manage the devices, we are going to do SSH and we are going to limit only certain people to SSH on those devices. That's why we're going to do standard access control list for SSH. Cisco firewall, very important. We're going to do a lot of configuration on the Cisco firewall. Yeah. Then the final stage is testing to ensure that whatever we configured is uh, actually working. All right. So guys, basically, when I when I analyze this case study, I realized realize that the company actually wants to move to a new building, and they want to uh, design a new network to support the users actually. And there's some key points that come to 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 me actually. We have two firewalls, right? Okay. Then there was something mentioned here, the DMZ zone. For the first time, we are going, we are not going to put DACP, DNS, and the D radius server on the D DMZ zone. Why? Because the DACP, uh, the Active Directory server here will hack as our DACP server. But the Active Directory server, it's always a good practice to put the Active Directory server in the inside zone because it the in it is the active directory server is that will be used for managing and authenticating users computers and resources so for the dscp dns and radius servers you're going to put them in the inside zone but the rest of servers they're going to be on them sorry for the DSCP, DNS, and radius, we're going to put them in the inside zone. But the rest of the servers, they're going to be in the DMZ zone, right? Okay. All right. So, guys, as we said, that it's this project that we're going to modify. We have two SP. We have two, two routers here, but now we're going to replace with the firewall. Then we have, here we have actually um, the two multi-air switches. So with any further ado, I'll just start uh, the design part. All right. Okay. So when I come on the uh, here, what I need first, I need two routers to act as our ASP. Good. So I'll just, in this case, I'll just take a 2911 route and put them somewhere here. Those are our ISP. This will be our ISP1, ISP2. Okay. Then we need two firewalls. Okay, we need two firewalls. We are, for the firewall, we're going to choose 5506. Just put two firewalls there. Once we have the two firewalls, now let's go to the multi layer switches. For the multi layer switches, for the multi layer switches, we're going to choose. We're going to choose 3650. Okay, we're going to choose 3650 multi layer switches. Okay, all right. 
So, and then how many we had, remember we had uh, three floors. We had three floors here. We had three floors, right? And the first floor, let's assume, the first floor will contain sales, marketing, sales and marketing plus human resource and logistics, okay? So let's put a representative there in, in regards to switch. So let's just assume that that will be our sales and marketing switch. Then this one will be our human resource and logistics switch, okay? Okay, then in the second floor, let's assume we add finance and accounts plus admin and public relationship. So we need also two switches there for um, for finance and accounts. And then um, we need one for public relationship and admin. Yeah. Then finally, on the on on the uh, on the third floor, actually, we had a uh, ICT department and a server room. So remember, ICT department is so big because it contains a lot of users. Okay. Yeah. So we're just going to represent it with one switch. Actually, we're just going to represent it with one switch. So let's assume that will be our ICT department there. And finally, we'll have our uh, server. Remember, we're going to have uh, two locations where we put our servers on this design. One will be inside, the other one will be the DMZ. So let's assume that this is our inside server zone where we're going to put the DSCP, DNS, and radius, okay? But uh, DMZ server zone will be attached to the firewall here, okay? All right, so don't worry about that thing. The Active Directory server must, should always be in the inside zone, okay? Yes, so guys, as you can see, we have the required um, network, networking devices. We have the ISPs. The fire, the two firewalls, the two multi-layer switches, and uh, the six uh, access layer switches. And uh, the, the second thing that I'll do, I'll do the connection. So to do, to do the connection, we normally start from the top, okay? And in this case, just choose automatic cable type and start from the top going down. Okay, so as you can see, we've made uh, the connection between the networking devices. You can see we have redundancy all over the network. Yeah, and uh, one thing that I would like to mention also, we need to connect the two at least switches to implement uh, uh, either channel. So just connect them. Yeah, so we have three, so we have three uh, cable connection between the two multi layer switches. Good. So we have enough of redundancy in this network. As you can see, it's going to be a very beautiful uh, network design, just like uh, uh, the predecessor here. Okay. So this one serves as a degree or diploma diploma project, but the one that we're designing actually this is a master's project. Okay. It's a very advanced project. All right. Okay, so uh, the, the, uh, the next step is just to um, include now uh, the host devices plus other uh, devices, actually. So for the host devices, we normally require just a computer for testing. A department should have a printer for printing. Then we need a, a VoIP, actually. We're going to choose the first IP phone. We need a VoIP. You need a VoIP phone. Yeah. Just one VoIP phone can be enough, or we just use two. Yes, we just need two. Let's just, in this case, use two. Right? Okay. 
we need a printer, a PC for testing, wipe phone, and uh, access points plus wireless devices. For the wireless devices, uh, we need a core laptop. Remember, users will be using laptops. We need a tablet. Many people have tablets. Then a smartphone, actually. Very important. Then now let's put in the, uh, the lap, which is lightweight access point. So for that one, you just come to networking devices, wireless devices. Then choose uh, this one, this lap PT. Okay. So that lap PC, PT, we are going to manage it using a uh, wireless LAN controller. Right? Good. So that's this is this network. Okay, so uh, the next thing I do, I just want to turn them on. Just uh, click them under the physical tab, drag IP phone power adapter, and place it there. Same applies to this one. Then for the lightweight access point also, they have, they have to turn them on. Just drag the power adapter and put it there. And finally, for the laptop, we are going to remove um, uh, either net adapter or slot and put uh, put wireless slot. So remember this one, this is just an Ethernet uh, slot. So just turn the laptop off first, then remove this, this slot there and drag this WPC third end, put it there, then turn it on again. So we are done. If the next step, let's just connect them very, very fast. Good. So after we've made the connection, after we've made the connection, now we can just do this one. Just copy that way. Just mark that way and just control C and control V. Then the way that they just marked, just drag them. Oops. So I have to, yeah, I have to undo and copy again, control C, control V. Then the way that just marked, then drag. Yes. So I'll do that and connect them very, very fast, save time. Okay, guys, so as you can see, actually, I've connected all the host devices uh, in all this department, except the last switch, which we say that we're going to connect uh, the servers. So on the last switch, I want to say that we're going to connect servers and the controllers. So the controllers are like voice gateway and the wireless LAN controller. So I'll need how many servers? Three servers, one for DSCP, uh, DNS, and the radius server. Yeah, so we have three servers there. Then I need controllers. The wireless LAN controller plus voice gateway for VoIP, right? All that, all of them will be placed on this switch here. Good. So I just need wireless LAN controller. Just come to wireless devices. Then choose this one, 2504. And now I'll just place them somewhere here, not below there. Because to differentiate them from the rest of the hosts, okay? All right, so I also need to VoIP. So for VoIP, I need 2811 router. Just scroll to the last one, 2811 router. Strictly choose 2811 router. I repeat, strictly choose 2811 router. Good. So this one will be um, for wireless LAN controller. And remember, when you're going to implement VLAN, ensure that this, we, this wireless LAN controller is in the same VLAN with all the access point. Then I'm going to implement VoIP, ensure that this voice gateway is in the same VLAN with the IP phones, okay? All right, so let's con uh, connect them very, very fast. Okay, so uh, that's done, actually. So we've connected all the required devices, all right? 
So the only part that is remaining is connecting the DMZ zone. So for the DMZ zone, we were told here that the DMZ, the zone can be tied to any firewall as of now, being that we have two firewalls. And uh, I don't want to make this conf configuration uh, uh, complicated. Let's just attach the DMZ zone to only one firewall. So in this case, I'll choose this firewall. Okay. So for that one, I'll just take a Cisco access switch. All right. All right. I'll just take that switch and put servers. So I'll need at least four servers. So actually on this uh, DSN, it's only on the DMZ that we have a single point of failure. So you can see on the DMZ, we've not implemented redundancy, okay? So when this cable cuts or even this switch is down or the firewall, then the DMZ resources cannot be accessed. That's why I'm saying in the next video, uh, we're going to, uh, I don't want to connect this switch to the, this firewall again, okay? Because of the complexity of this design. If I'm forced to connect it, then I'll be forced to include a layer three device in between them, okay? But I don't want to uh, to make it more complex. So in the next video, in the next project actually, I promise whenever we have two firewalls, then you're going to implement a redundancy for the DMZ zone, okay? All right, but as per now, let's just connect it to one firewall, right? Okay, good. So uh, the next thing uh, we said that, um, we said that uh, actually the um, the main objective of this design is to enable uh, this is a cloud company, a cloud solution company. Then it should connect the clients outside or globally. Thus, we should have an aspect of cloud, right? Okay. So to include a cloud here, actually, I'm just going to use um, a kind of a router. Then. Uh, bundle it into cloud, right? Okay. So I'll just click on the routers. So I'll just take a 2911 router to be our cloud router, okay? Then remember, we want to connect some users to the cloud. So to connect them, let's just assume that there's a virtual switch somewhere, right? Okay. All right. Then we need two users, one maybe in this is a Kenyan company, so let's assume the one is in, uh, one is in the USA, another one is in uh, China, actually, yeah. So I connect them. Yep. So uh, this is our cloud. Remember, this is our cloud. So let's just assume these users are connected. We don't know how they are connected, but we just want to represent that they are connected. So this should be our cloud. So I just I let them mark them that way, then include this cloud thing, okay? So that's our cloud or internet, actually. You can name it internet or cloud, yeah. So whenever we are going to implement, we, we, when we are going to actually, uh, when we are going to configure this, the inside devices, we're just going to click, click that inside that uh, cluster and we configure and all and go back or you can just um, you can just grab this thing this delete thing okay just grab that delete thing and come and click there once and uncluster then we configure after we finish configuring everything we mark them and bundle it again right okay so the next thing actually you can see this is a very uh, nice project very nice project. So the next thing that we're going to do here, actually, guys, is to name the devices, which is very, very important. In our network design and implementation, uh, we normally ensure that all the devices in the network are named appropriately, okay? All right, so I'll just do that very, very fast to save time.
Okay, guys, so I've managed to name all the devices in the network. And uh, the second thing that I'll do, I mean, the next thing that I'll do now is to uh, separate the borders and give a background um, color to each department or each segment, okay? All right, so for that, I'll also do it very, very fast, save time. So I believe these are things that uh, you've been doing actually. So just a repetition of what we've been doing. Okay, guys, so uh, as you can see, we've done a uh, background decoration, and uh, now our design is looking uh, uh, very beautiful, as you can see. Yeah, so I've separated the borders for the department, the floors, etc. etc. So, what's meaning here is just a little bit of comments, a little bit of comments. Uh, of which I'll do very, very fast also to save time. Okay, so uh, as you can see, I've done the namings. Uh, I mean, uh, the namings plus the comments that are necessary. Uh, so if I can just explain a little bit of the comments, you can see these are sales department, and it will have several villains, villain 10, management, 20 for LAN, 50 for VLAN, 70 for VIBE, and finally, uh, 199 for black hole. And all the IP address is going to be via DSCP. Okay. All right. So another thing that I need to mention here, let me just see. So before we go to implementation part, let me just see which I can add. 